What's up, YouTube? Stew Dog here. Welcome back to some more low-rated duelists. So we got Chaston Daniels at 90 with two experience. So that's 10 straight losses on DN. He's desperate for a win here. 90 rating. He opened pretty strong though. I mean, he got the yellow gadget to search the green gadget, and he's going to summon the green gadget to search the red gadget. So at least he's getting some advantage. But unfortunately, he does not have an extra deck. Perfect opportunity to exceed into like a Castell spin back that Big Show Gardener. And I have no idea why he would summon Junk Synchron and not Synchro. And he's not even going to attack over the Junk Synchron. Really, man? <laughs> you can't question this logic, guys. You just cannot question this logic. Why would you not attack the Junk Synchron? And why are you not Synchroing? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Why no Synchro, Brody? Why no Synchro? Okay, now he's just going to summon the Red Gadget not even search. Oh my freaking god, I have no idea what's going on guys. But now he's gonna synchro summon here. Er no, he's gonna tribute for the obelisk the tormentor. So who needs the synchro guys? Who freaking needs it? And along with that he's going to normal summon the white stone of legend and then play Call of the Haunted to bring back the junk synchron. Wait, didn't he just set that? Or was that last turn? Oh, he might have just set that card this turn. I don't even remember to be honest. But you do not get two normal summons in the same turn, man. What are you doing? gonna normal summon that and then summon the freaking white stone of legend on the same turn and now he's finally gonna synchro okay <laughs> oh my god so the queen's nine and the white stone of legend he's going so fast i don't even know if that was what he did but hopefully that was he's not even gonna attack really what does this chat have to say the chat has nothing to say about this really oh my god but that powerful obelisk the tormentor guys and by the way, the Whitestone of Legend effect is mandatory. You have to add a Blue Eyes from your deck to the hand. There is no can that is a mandatory effect, but hey, who cares? It's a low rated duelist. They're allowed to cheat all they want. <laughs> of course. Haven't even got a chance to announce this guy right here, but his name is the Flame Sword Rider. Yeah, the Flame Sword Rider 233. 160 rating, 1 experience. Chaston has 2 experience with a 90 rating. God, why is no one attacking? Everyone's too chicken to attack. And they must really fear those mirror forces or something. Like, God, no one's attacking. Like, Justin, why didn't you attack? You had a perfect opportunity to attack right into the Junk Synchron with that green gadget. I mean, come on, what are you afraid of? Dark Honest? Seriously, there must be a Dark Honest in low-rated duelist format, because we've seen this time and time again where people are too afraid to attack a dark monster with no back row. Uh, there, there just obviously has to be a Dark Honest that I just don't know about. But anyway, still not going to attack back to Daniel's turn. He's just going to set a monster and then end his turn. And it's back to the Flame Sword Rider's turn. So let's see, Flame Sword Rider. Are you finally going to attack? Are you going to top deck and do a Twin Twister? Get rid of the back row. No, Chaston's going to play Dust Tornado on the useless Call the Haunted that's sitting on the field doing nothing. <laughs> The waste, though, like, really? <laughs> the Call of the Haunted's attached to nothing. He's literally just going to play Dust Tornado just to set a card on his opponent's turn when you easily could have set that on your previous turn. Seriously, guys, you cannot question this logic. You just cannot question this MLG logic here. Oh, my freaking God. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Now it's back to Flame Sword Rider's turn. He's going to top deck right into the Gamma, the Magnet Warrior. He's going to normal summon it. And along with that, he's going to flip summon the Mystic Horseman in Face Up Defense Mode. I had no idea you could flip summon in Face Up Defense Mode, guys. Oh, unbelievable right here. Just unbelievable. Ah, <laughs> uh, wow. No, everyone's too afraid to attack, man. I'm sorry, Panagiotis. Everyone's too afraid to attack. <laughs> Oh, wow. So, it's back to Daniel's turn. Let's see what he's going to do here. I have no idea what deck he's playing. All we've seen was three gadgets, a dust tornado, and then nothing in the extra deck. We have the perfect opportunity to exceed. <laughs> oh, my God. He's just too pro for that extra deck, man. He's too pro. And now he's going to tribute someone for the Blue Eyes White Dragon here. He tributes the Gamma and one other monster. I have no idea what that other monster was. 
But look at this field. He has the powerful blue eyes white dragon, the powerful junk warrior, the powerful obelisk, and then that random battle locks out of nowhere. And you can actually use obelisk the tormentors effect, right? Can't you like tribute two monsters to destroy all monsters your opponent controls? Like really? You could easily use this guy's effect, destroy all those. And instead he's just gonna summon monsters, but he's not going to attack. Like what the heck? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> wow. This duel, man. This freaking duel. And it's back to Daniel's turn. You do have to discard, because there is a hand limit. That is seven cards in your hand. You gotta discard. <laughs> discard, Brody. Come on, man. Discard. Ah, <laughs> oh, wow. This duel, man. This freaking duel. Seriously, someone better attack. I swear to God, someone better attack. We've been recording this for six minutes. They've been playing at a fast pace, I'll give them that. But someone really needs to get some freaking guts and attack. Like, if you're afraid of Mirror Force, at least switch two of your monsters to defense mode. I mean, this has 4,000 defense points. This has 2,500 defense points. You can switch those to defense mode and then attack with the Jax Knight and the Junk Warrior. Because, I mean, come on, guys. Like, really... Oh, man, I swear to God, guys. I swear to freaking God. Comes <laughs> back to Daniel's turn. He's just going to end his turn now with eight cards in his hand. Yes, eight beautiful cards in that hand. Then the floor or the flame sword rider is going to summon that axe raider. Had no idea this was a card, so we get to see the battle ox and the axe raider. They look kind of similar, I guess. Back to Daniel's turn. He now has nine cards in his frickin' hand. Because <laughs> no one knows how to read a rule book these days. Just no one knows how to read a goddamn rule book. Like, seriously? <laughs> oh, my frickin' god. You gotta be kidding me, man. You just gotta be kidding me. And alright, just play Dark Hole and kill everything. <laughs> and he's finally going to attack! And there's the mirror force. Watch him rage quit. Watch him rage. <laughs> oh, I didn't even get a chance to type it in. I didn't even get a chance to type in in before rage quit. Wow. Didn't even get a freaking chance to type it in. I was literally about to say it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, no joke. I was literally typing on my keyboard in before Rage quit. <laughs> oh my god, so how long has this been going on for? I saw it eight minutes. We got time to get like one more in. Thank you all for watching. The first duel will be back with another. Okay, guys, we're back with another duel. So we got AGT or AJT Boss at 204. He's going up against Flare Blitz 255 at 86. Oh dear lord, 86. 14 straight losses on DN. He has 14 points of experience. And he's just so desperate. You thought that other guy was desperate for his first win. No, this guy, he really wants that first win in the format. And he's playing, I think, Gaga Gods or something? Yeah, he's playing Gaga Gods. Um, there's the Gaga Gods sister. And he's also going to play Compulse to return the Dragoonity Dark Spear back to AJT's hand. No, I'm not going to call him that. I'm going to call him Boss. So, let's see, boss, I got a 204 rating, 22 experience, but unfortunately, you got a 60 card deck. But on the plus side, he does have a 15 card extra deck. <laughs> what? What do you mean, what? Compulse, return it to the hand. Yes, indeed, compulsory. A very easy card in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. Still limited at one on that ban list. Not that hard to mess up Compulse. All you gotta do is turn that to the hand. <laughs> What do I do to it? <laughs> really, man? Read? <laughs> Wanna read, man? Seriously? <laughs> Gaga got sister out of all monsters. Yes, indeed. <laughs> you know, no one wants to read. No one wants to freaking read. It's like, what do I do to it? Really? It's only one sentence. Like, come on. Like, we have pendulums that are, like, novel-long cards. This is only one sentence. I don't even have to scroll down. It's one sentence, and you really had the nerve to ask him, what do I do to it? 
Oh my god, and you got a 204 rating. That's at least 10 wins on Dueling Network. Like, come on. Oh, man. So let's see, Flare Blitz. What you gonna do? Please. Just do something, man. He has like 45 in his main deck, 15 in the extra deck. Both these guys got 15 in the extra deck. That's pretty nice. So apparently he's playing Gaga Gaz. I have no idea what this card does. And this card is normal, so when you can add a Gaga Gaz spell from your deck to the hand, you can only or you can target one other Gaga Gaz. The level of that monster becomes the combined levels of this. Oh, okay, so that's pretty useless right now. He's gonna attack for that clutch 200 points of direct battle damage. So freaking clutch that 200. <laughs> oh my God! Seriously. <laughs> LOL 86 rating. <laughs> hey. <laughs> what do you expect, guys? That's what the segment is called, low rated duelist. So we're gonna find someone who's low rated. <laughs> so it's back to boss's turn. He's now gonna normal summon the Castle of Dark Illusions, one of those weird cards that has some messed up stats. 920 attack, along with 1930 defense points. Some very weird stats here in the Castle of Dark Illusions. And he's too pro to set it. He's just going to normal summon it. Really, man? But he's not going to attack. Of course he's not going to attack. Because there's obviously a Mirror Force set. Or a Draining Shield or something. But that probably wasn't the case. It's back to Flare Blitz's turn. He's going to play Dark Hole. Take that Neg 1 to destroy the Castle of Dark Illusions. <laughs> oh, yeah. Free Neg 1 for the win. <laughs> <laughs> yup, these guys are reading my mind. He said it before me, of course. It's like these guys are reading my mind in here in the watchers chat. They know me too well. Now he's gonna normal summon that card card D, tribute itself to draw two cards. And he actually does know that card card D ends your turn. There's a lot of people in this segment that do not know that card card D ends your turn. They tribute it, they draw two, and then they just continue in their main phase, so not gonna lie, that deserves a nice long round of applause. Not every time on this segment we see someone actually know what Card Card D does. <laughs> but Boz, he's going to summon that Dark Spear. The Dragoony Dark Spear again that was compulsed earlier. And he's going to attack directly for a thousand points of damage. This is the first damage dealt by Flare Blitz. Or er, for Fear and Blitz. Bring him down to 7,000. Yup. It's back to his turn. He has six cards to work with. Let's see what he's going to do here. So apparently he's playing Gaga Guz with Card Card D. And he's just going to blind MST the middle back row. Let's find out what that is. And you better do something. You better not just play MST and then do nothing. Ah, oh, so there's the Blazing Mirror Force. Please do something, man. You better do something. <laughs> you better freaking... Okay, he is going to do something. He's going to summon the Summoner Monk. And that goes to defense mode. It will use its effect to discard a spell card. Uh, special summon a level 4 monster from his hand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he's going to discard the Gaga Ga Revenge. And let's see what level 4 monster he is going to special summon. We are about to find out. Can we get a drum roll, please? Any second now. Okay, he's gonna go for the Gaga -ga Magician. And now what? Once per turn, you can declare your level from 1 to 8. This card become Really? I'm just gonna end your turn? <laughs> really? <laughs> oh my freaking god, are you kidding me? What do you mean? It oh, no attack, no exceed. Yeah, well, we can't attack because Summoner Monk says he can't attack, but I mean, seriously, no exceed? Really, man? <laughs> <laughs> Why you know XYZ? <laughs> oh my god, really, man? And it's back to boss's turn. He's now going to normal summon a random Gialtu out of nowhere. If you would have told me the monster he was going to summon was Gialtu, I would have said you were crazy. Like, dang, Gialtu out of all monsters? And now on his opponent's turn, he's going to activate the Wonder Exceed. And immediately after this effect resolves, he can exceed summon exceed monster using monsters you control. That's so pointless. Uh, <laughs> that's so freaking pointless. <laughs> like really? 
You're gonna waste the card just to exceed any of your opponent's turn. When you could just <laughs> when the majority of exceed monsters you can't even get their effect on their opponent's turn. Oh my god, whatever man, I'm not gonna tell you how to play your own deck, but that is just terrible right here. I've never seen anyone play this card once in my life. As Vector's turn is going to be activating... No. No, I'm not pronouncing that. Heavens, no. <laughs> He's going to activate a magic card. And this magic card will allow him to add two Yu-Gi-Oh cards from his deck to the hand. And for some reason, this trap card is still sitting here on the field. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to call everything by their... By their type. Trap, this is a magic card, not a spell card. Even though it still says spell card, it's all magic cards, guys. <laughs> so, let's see, what is he going to do now? He has that beautiful 101 sitting there on the field doing nothing. He can't even use its effect. And now he's going to normal summon the Go-Go-Go Giant. To special summon a Go-Go-Go Monster from your graveyard and face up defense mode. He's going to go for yet another Go-Go Giant. And now we can go for yet another Exceed Summon. Yeah, buddy. Oh yeah, here we go. Uh, let's see which rank 4 he's gonna go for. <laughs> Any second now. Any second now. Oh yeah, we're gonna go for the Degusto Emerald. Detach to shuffle 3 monsters in his graveyard back into the deck. So there's the card card D, and then two others, the Gaga Gaga sister, and the Gaga Gaga girl, and he'll draw one card, and attack I'd assume? I have no idea how this went to defense mode, how did this go to defense mode, because he normal summoned that last turn. Oh, I'm so freaking confused. Oh, and he top decks into the clutch Raigeki, now does this float? I do not think this one floats. Oh man, too much reading. I don't think GL2 floats. That's pretty nice. I don't even know what deck he's playing. Dragoonity Yang Zings? I guess. Oh, I guess it does float. That's way too much reading. I can't even find it. Ah, oh, it's the first freaking sentence. Stupid me, of course. So unfortunately, he will get the effect of Jiao 2 and special summon Yang Zing and this might be a very very long duel because I mean how the frick is Flare Blitz gonna get past those Yang Zings you need, you need to make a castell you need to make a castell so bad oh apparently he's not even gonna use the effect oh, pff, he's not even gonna attack what you can protect yourself Brody why you no attack <laughs> why you no attack <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, seriously? <laughs> oh man. We got 12 watchers in here, some of our number one fans. FBI 1996, Hero Fusion. And we also got Umbreon God, who is Shadow Rider Umbreon's new account. I have no idea why you made a new account, because now you're at the bottom. On your old account, you're at the top, and everyone gets to see you, but now you're at the bottom, and everyone's going to forget about you, so... Yeah, still don't know why you made a new account, man. But whatever. <laughs> we got three of our number one fans in here and a lot of other watchers, too. But anyway, Flare Blitz gonna activate two Gaga -ga Bolts. Target a monster on the field and destroy it. Or, er, card rather, it doesn't even have to be a monster. So he's gonna destroy two cards, not the middle back row, the other two back rows. Okay, then. And, oh, look at this space bar contest. Oh, man, look at that space bar contest. <laughs> oh, my God, so freaking fun. This is how crazy the Watcher's Chat is, guys. This is how freaking crazy the Watcher's Chat is. <laughs> oh, my God, just hilarious right here. Just flat out hilarious. And while we wait for them to do something, enjoy this epic spacebar contest. Look at it go! My god- Oh, he gets past two mirror forces! He gets past the regular mirror force and the blazing mirror force. Unbelievable. Wow. 
And now that he got past two of the mirror forces, you already know he's going to attack right into that monster. And then again for 21 and 200. Oh my freaking god, unbelievable right here. Just unbelievable. So, boss will lose his first couple of life points. We already lost 200, but we'll lose some more here. And that's it, really? I thought he lost more than that. Apparently he only loses 800 life points, so okay then. Didn't expect that to happen. <laughs> ah, man, but three of our number one fans right here. Isn't that awesome? Shadow Rider, Rembrion, FBI, and Hero Fusion. Thank you all for being here. Ah, oh, man, <laughs> this freaking chat. So, boss now just gonna set a monster. Back to Flare's turn. Let's see, Flare's viewing that extra deck. Maybe he's gonna go for another Exceed Summon. The world may never know, but dang, this video has been going on much longer than need be. 22 freaking minutes. Seriously, can someone please win? I mean, I'm gonna cut out the second duel. We actually had a second duel, but someone just quit within the first like minute, so we're gonna cut that out. So, officially a 20-minute video right now. I just really hope someone can wrap this up shortly, because I do not want this to be a half hour, not at all. So that better not be a Ying Zing, please. Just be like a mystical elf or something stupid. That'll be pretty funny. Oh, it's a bi what the frick deck is this? <laughs> what deck is this? <laughs> Seriously, we see Yang Zings, we see Dark World, and then we see Dragoonities. What the frick deck is that? <sighs> oh my god, and Flare might actually get his first win in the format. Unbelievable. Wow. So while we wait for him to take the life points, we're actually going to pause the video. And right after I pause the video, he quits. This always freaking happens. I don't understand how this happens so often. But yeah, right after I pause the video, he quits, and Flare gets his first win in the format. Didn't get the freaking hover over it. I'm gonna copy and paste his username and find out how many points he picked up for winning that, cause that definitely deserves a nice long round of applause. I mean, you struggle for 14 duels. 14 rated duels. You lose all 14 of those duels. Majority of people on DN would just quit Yu-Gi-Oh! forever if you lose 14 duels in a row and rated. But no, he stuck with it. He finally got a victory. Big shout out to this Flare Blitz guy. Let's find out how many points he picked up. He picked up a grand total. Oh, that was a match, but yeah, he picked up a grand total of 25 points, I believe. Yeah, 25 points. So, big shout out to Flare Blitz right here. And hopefully, you all. <laughs> He's in another duel, dang. <laughs> well, thank you all for watching this episode of Lore Reader Duelist, as always. And until next time, this is Stew Dog, and I'm signing out.